Welcome back to EMT Made Easy, where we make EMT easy. So, um, I'm going to be going over the primary uh, assessment, or the primary survey. So, it's going to be this chunk right here. There it is. So, I'm going over this little chunk. Primary assessment, um, AFPU, chief complaint, airway, breathing, circulation. Now, I made my own version of this. And I think it's a little more simplified. I like it. Um, I kind of just chunk up the scene, si scene size up and primary assessment all together um, and put it on one piece of paper to pass out to my students. I think it's a lot easier to remember this way. It, just, it looks cleaner. But today I'm just going to go over the primary assessment and kind of just talk about what you do, what, what you should be doing as you're going through your checklist. So... In your primary assessment, first things first, as you approach the patient, um, is your patient tracking you, right? If they are tracking you, then they, they get an A on the AVPU. If they're not, then try to get a response verbally. So, hey, sir, ma'am, how are you doing? Um, if they look at you, then they get a V on the AVPU scale for verbal. If not, then go ahead and give them some painful stimuli, try to wake them up. If they respond to that, then they get a P. Or they might just be unresponsive in general. Um, if your patient is either A or V on the AFPU scale, then you can move on and do an A and O times, times 3. And hopefully that works out for you. All right. So after that, get the chief complaint. So you want to ask the patient, hey, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am, uh, why am I here today? They're going to tell you what happened, a chest pain, having trouble breathing, whatever the case may be. And then you want to ask the proctor, do I, ha do I see any life threats? All right. Do I see any life threats? After that, after these two steps, just remember A, B, C, D. So airway, breathing, circulation, and determine transportation. And let's go ahead and break them down even more. So for your airway, you want to ask, you want to ask, does my patient have a patent airway? Is it open? Is there air moving in and out? If they're unconscious, do a head tilt, chin lift. If it's a trauma situation, do a jaw thrust, right? And then you want to suction if necessary. Remember, don't suction for more than 10 seconds. And then use the appropriate um, airway adjunct, OPA, NPA. And that's it for um airway you get all your points if you hit up these little bulletins just hit these up and you'll get your point it's all a points game when it comes to the NREMT. all right next breathing so you identify that your patient has a patent airway now are they breathing adequately is the breathing adequate enough to sustain life that's what you should ask um then you want to use ipasso ipasso really helped me out if you just verbalize these and actually do them um throughout your assessment you'll get every little check that you need to pass your NREMT. So I pass up, inspect, ask the proctor, do I see any abnormalities? And any uh, uh, seesaw movement, so um, any bruising, anything abnormal. Then you want to palpate. So then you want to palpate uh, to see if you feel anything, any crepitus on the chest, right? Then auscultate what you're with your stethoscope? Do I hear wheezing? Do I hear crackles? Anything weird? Is there anything that I need to seal or stabilize? Yes or no? And then also do not forget to give your O2. You want to give O2 in the NREMT. It's all about points. If you do if you do not give O2, you will fail the skill. Uh, so it really depends on what your patient's going through. Personally, for NREMT, I would always go with 15 liters per minute via non-rebreather, it's your safe bet unless they obviously need to be bagged. Uh, they need artificial ventilation. But if not, if um, I would always just bypass this for the NREMT and go straight to your 15 liters per minute. Um, you can't go wrong with that. All right. All right. So next, circulation. Get a pulse. Identify what's the quality and what's the rhythm. So tell the proctor what you got. And then ask them, is this correct for the skill? Is that what I got? Then skins, CTC. So color, temperature, and condition. So ask the proctor, um, what's the color, temperature, and condition of my patient? If you want, it's probably better if you identify what it really is. So um, if your patient is normal, let's say I have dry, warm uh, skin and it's pink. Is that what I got for this? 
no okay so then what uh, what is my real color temperature and condition for the scenario um but you can word it however you want to word it though but just make sure you identify that too and is there any severe hemorrhage any bleeding that i should be aware of right now do i notice anything so you want to ask that question you ask these questions you will get all your points for circulation all right and then d the last one of the a b c d I'm going to load and go. It's You're better off is always saying that you're going to load and go and get out of the scene. Um, you can't go wrong with that. So what I, what I tell my, my students every time is that they're always going to give O2 no matter what for an REMT. And you're always going to load and go. All right. So you're always going to do those two things. If you do that, you can't go wrong with it. So just to break down one more time of your primary assessment, we'll start from the top. See if I can close in and get a better. There we go. So first, AVPU ANO times three. Chief complaint. Why am I here, ma'am or sir? And ask the proctor, do I see any life threats? Airway. Is the airway patent? Awesome. Is it going to stay patent? If they're unconscious, head, tilt, chin, lift, or jaw thrust. And then determine if you have the suction or if you need an MPA or OPA. Breathing. Is breathing adequate enough to sustain life? If you want to get a number, ask for a number. Then do your eye paso, inspect the thoracic cavity, the chest, palpate the chest, auscultate for lung sounds, do, and then ask, is there anything I have to seal or stabilize? Then give them O2, always give them O2. Circulation, get a pulse. What's the quality and rhythm? Get the actual rhythm and, and pulse and the quality Tell the proctor what you got and then ask if that's right for the scenario. CTC is also part of circulation. Color, temperature, and condition. And do I have any bleeding? And last but not least, load and go. Determine transportation. Always treat life threads before anything else. All right? Well, let me see if I can. I think I'm done here. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this helped you guys out. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.